Sebastian showed us in that TSM Cloud9 <laughs> matchup. And guess what? Kogma is still great. That's one of the That's things true. that I really like about mid Kogma is that if he gets level 11, he gets that Lutens. Doesn't matter how far behind he is, he's still going to do a lot of damage and have a lot of presence on the game. Yeah, well, Koo Tiger's trying to tie it up. SKT trying to get a 2-0. Let's see who takes it. A lot of really good edges that this Rek'Sai gives you. And Oh, Hojin coming in, and they nice. grab Bengi. Bengi in a lot of trouble here. Gets low. There's the flashes. Hojin flashes as well. Ignite isn't enough. Actually, Bengi makes it out. Now Hojin getting low. There's the heal. Kuro trying Bang. to save him. First blood goes to Bang. Bang still taking a lot of damage, though. Bengi coming back in. Weird, weird fight. Bang tumbling, getting the damage onto Gorilla, and Bengi with a kill now. SKT, how do they turn these fights around? Baker Bang. comes in. Bang picks up another one, and now he's got the 1v1 on the Kuro. Kuro has to flash over the wall, and Bang with the double buffs. In good spot, Marin just gets the solo in bot lane, because why not? You know, everybody else is getting kills. Marin didn't want to be left out. I don't even know how Marin was able to get a solo. Ojin's right there though, but with Wolf, it is a 2v3. And here comes Gorilla and Prey. Oh, Bengi and Wolf still chasing. Look at this, Marin coming down as well. Nice double knockup from Wolf coming in. They're gonna jump onto Kuro. They're gonna get a kill onto Kuro. Marin picking one up. And this one is already getting a little bit out of control. And Red buff here, and actually, Hojin coming in. There's a smite. And body slam onto Hojin. He's going to try to make something happen here. Wow, Hojin actually taking a lot of damage. There's explosive Kaski may be in big trouble. No flash available. Gorilla comes up. Can he save him? No. Bengi with the kill there. Gorilla slowing. And he's going to try to make it on himself too. There's a knockup onto Kuro as Wolf comes in to the upper jungle. Marin kind of coming down to see if they can maybe do something here. But And as Bang takes down this top turret, it'll get a nice little boost. Prey doing a little bit of damage to Faker. Kuro coming in as well. Faker forced to flash over the wall. Ah, but here comes Kuro. Flash Emperor's Divide onto Faker. Nice play. Faker trying to do enough damage to Kuro. Can't quite finish him off though. Or so there's a pick that the Kuka Tigers needed. Oh, it was close. The Kathy and surprise. A Spirit Visage. He's not equipped to deal with an, uh, an AD carry. Uh, oh, neither is Bang. Prey, perhaps. Popping that ult. Prey popping is to try to escape here. Gorilla comes in a little bit late. Bang gets ulted. Gorilla looking to get a bit bloodthirsty, shield, but shield. here comes Wolf with the shield. Now Gorilla in a lot of trouble. Tumbling under turret. There's a double for Bang. And the heal. Oh, Bang, come on. That was, that was actually a misplay. He didn't expect the monsoon no to come back in, so he sort of walked back under the turret. Now Wolf is going on uh. a suicide mission to prevent Hojin and Kuro from oh, getting oh, that kill. Oh. oh, gets poked once, and that's a kill for Kuro. So Bang doing his best OQ impression while Faker takes down the mid lane turret. Things could be worse, but things getting a little bit goofy there for the moment. Yeah, and... That tower going down is pretty important. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, that just happened then. And Hojin trying to put a little bit of hurt onto Bengi after seeing his mid laner just get absolutely evaporated. Bengi getting very low. Smeb coming in as well. Looks like they will be able to get the kill on Bengi eventually, I'd imagine. Faker raining damage down from the top. Marin. Though, and Marin coming in. Twist advance onto Prey. They're going to keep going with this, but it's a 4v1 right now. Can Faker zone well enough? Wow, Marin already getting so tanky here. Prey doing a decent amount of damage, though. Faker needs to be careful. Knock up onto Marin. I think SKT is starting to style a little bit here onto the Koo Tigers. This is, a this is a sustained 2v4, and Marin and Faker get the kill anyway. And Faker doesn't okay. have Echo yet. <laughs> doesn't no. have Echo. And again. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Kuro. <laughs> Uh oh, he's in the gauntlet now, trying to play some Dance Dance Revolution. Meanwhile, Gorilla just dies in bot lane. Eventually, trust me, he will. I, he will, get, don't worry. There we go, okay, I was right. Now, Bengi may. Oh, nice ult from Wolf, actually. Bang, entering the fray. Kuro pushes him back with the Emperor's Divide. That's a lot of damage onto Bang, actually. SKT still playing a little bit silly. And Bang uh, probably gonna, do oh, not quite yet. There we go, Kuro. Picks up the kill there. Meanwhile, more action as Faker goes after Prey. Mid laner versus ADC, but now everyone on Koo turning around. SK Telecom, we don't want to be here all night. Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. Meanwhile, Marn's taking a tier two turret. Get, use the orbital laser thing from uh, Earth mode that right, one week. Here we go. Yeah, Marn is coming in from behind onto Gorilla and Prey. There's the ult onto Bang, and he's locked up for just a moment here. Prey popping the ultimate, backing off. Marn's going to chase with that twist advance anyway. Kuro coming from the river right now. Faker entering the fray now with a lot of damage. Bang extremely low, and there's a kill actually for Bengi on the fray before anything else happens. Hojin on the run now as well. 
Martin and Bengi chasing down Gorilla. There's a kill. Kuro manages to take out Wolf, but a double kill for Bengi as SK Telecom looking to finish this one up. Marin comes in for the kill on Dohojin and SKT having to back off, having to play it safe. Smeb and Kuro on the run right now. Bang and Faker coming in for this one a second time. There goes Smeb. Faker with the kill there. Kuro the only one left, and he is not in any position to fight. Front line. Yeah. That really is just it. SK Telecom is just so ridiculously far ahead. Kuro coming in, pushes back Faker with that Emperor's Divide. There's the ult. Wolf pushes people back, though, from Gorilla. Hojin comes in. That's a kill, actually, on the Gorilla immediately. Faker very low as well. Dies. Kill comes in for Prey. Bengi on the run there. Ku Tigers turning this one around off that double kill from Kuro. Marin comes back in, wants to get the kill on his ear. He's able to do it with his ultimate. And no so it's one. Still two for three. Here comes Bang. You can take out this turret and keep on rolling if they yes, want to. Can. Just keep pushing up. Looks like they are going to be able to get away. Final hour popped from Vayne, but no additional kills. No, now the question is where are they going to transition to next? Looks like they may just go bottom side. Makes sense. Walk all the way across the base, <laughs> not going to tank the top lane turret. No, why not? Up bigger. Oh, oh they're flash. going in. Yeah, Wolf flashing away as well, too. Baron coming in. Baker actually taking a lot of damage. Smeb on top of them. That's a kill for Kuro. Bang, though, starting to go a little bit crazy here. There goes Smeb. GA pop. There goes Kuro. Double kill for Bang, actually. There was no GA. And that's going to be about it. Gorilla backing away. Marin just tanking a turret hit for the fun of it. Kuro. They lost Faker, but they had to commit everything to it. And that let Bang just had a field day. Yeah, but Kuro has been playing around this Kogma so well that it's a real shame that we didn't get to see a more even early game to see what exactly Kuro was going to be able to pull off to shut down Faker because his Azir has been quite good in team fights, actually. Yeah. Well, Gorilla, a support against the world right now. And there's only so much you can do, and it's not enough to take the game. SK Telecom will win it 2-0 in dominating fashion. GG. Yeah, that's about all you could say. Game one was pretty close until yeah. T1 had that big breakout moment in that team fight, 4v5 in the mid lane, and this one was determined very early on, them getting a huge edge in a skirmish that resulted in their scaling.